888-317-STAR. College students can now use their iPods for classwork as well as music. Apple Computer has announced the new iTunes U service, which will allow colleges to put materials such as class lectures on a section of the iTunes Music Store. Students then can download the content onto their iPods. To talk more about this, we are joined on the KCBS Newsline by Keith Pallate, Development Officer at the University of Missouri School of Journalism, one of the six schools Apple worked with to test the service. Thank you very much for talking to us uh, today tonight. What made you guys want to get involved with the test? Well, the, the iTunes U project actually gives us just another distribution and, and acquisition platform to uh, communicate with our students with, and we're excited about the pop possibilities that um, uh, kind of lay before us. Is there any concern that students might take this too far and just start downloading lectures instead of going to class? Well, actually, we are trying to measure the, you know, how the, the research on this, but the anecdotal evidence coming up so far, not just from Missouri, with some of the other schools is that students are actually going to classes more because when they're in classes they don't have to worry about taking notes they can actually participate in the, in the conversations happening in class knowing that the lectures will be available later on and tell us more how it did work at the university of missouri uh, how many different professors took part about how many kids actually downloaded the uh, the podcast well this is our first semester to really kind of um test the system we have three schools on campus they're participating, the College of Education, our College of Arts and Science, and the Missouri School of Journalism. And each one of the schools is participating kind of different ways. I think the big takeaway, though, this is not just a way of distributing content. This is a way of actually pushing content back up to the system. So, for example, in some of our classes, the students are receiving a homework assignment and then posting it back up into the class site so that everyone in the class can see each other's work or alternatively the professor can only see the work. So it's a neat way of kind of learning from each other. I'm curious, oftentimes when we're talking about technological change, there is a lot of resistance, whether it's among a, the staff of a company or perhaps professors at a university. Are you finding that? Uh, no kidding. Um, what we find though is students though are the digital natives. And really what this project is, is our attempt to seek to innovate to meet our students where they are already are. I mean, our, our, these kids are the first Wi-Fi expectant class. And so we as, if you will, digital immigrants have to figure out a way to meet these kids who are already native to this, um, this medium. So instead of trying to pry those iPods out of their hands, you're, uh, you're going with it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, it's, it's really about kind of the concept of education to go, where students can carry their learning with them. So they're making much better use of the time in between classes. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. We very much appreciate that. Again, Keith Polite is Development Officer at the University of Missouri School of Journalism talking about a new use for iTunes.